the snow, Australia's winter athletes are hard at work pushing their bodies to the limit in preparation for the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics. We have quite a broad spectrum of um, activities that we do, so we spend a lot of time in the gym obviously getting strong. Things like this are a bit of strength endurance and endurance type sessions. We also do a lot of bike riding with the guys. And the ones who surf spend a lot of time in the surf outside of it. So sometimes they're getting six to eight hours a day of actually being active, which is really, really good. Um, it's one of the advantages that we have here in Australia is that we have great conditions for dry land training and uh, great facilities you know, provided. Um, through the institutes of sport and so um, I think we can get a real advantage over our competitors this way and one of our goals is to have sort of you know the, the fittest athletes on the circuit. When we're working on sand dunes it's really just sort of you know <laughs> putting in a big effort and actually the athletes holding it together. Um, so. We're, there's a lot of um, you know, strength endurance type work that you do running up a hill. I mean, the hill is probably only about 80, 80 to uh, yeah, 80, 90 metres long, so it's not a huge length, but the strength to actually be able to continually run up there, to jump up there, to you know, pick a medicine ball, five kilogram medicine ball up and throw it up there and chase. Um, it's really about developing that endurance in the legs. Most of our guys, or all of our guys, have had really good gains over the last four to five years, and um, the results are really showing through now. I think, you know, obviously they're becoming much more skilled at their sport, but I think their increase in their physical parameters allows them to do much more, whether it be skiing or snowboarding.